action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here, and I'm once again coming at you from the room I'm staying in for Toy Fair, and uh, today is the last day of Toy Fair, at least for me. Um, this is the last day. It's Monday. I'm filming this Monday morning. So today on Monday, we're going to get the Masters of the Universe reveals from Mattel, and we should also be getting uh, actual, allowed to uh, get actual images for the Jazzware uh, Halo figures that I talked about in yesterday's video. So um that's kind of the big reveals for for monday but i want to go on and share with you uh stuff from yesterday sunday talk about that and then a few things that i didn't get a chance to talk about uh from saturday uh in yesterday's video i know it gets all confusing with with the timing and everything but the uh, first thing I wanted to touch upon was something I talked about yesterday, and that's about the Todd McFarlane Spawn figure that they're going to be taking to Kickstarter. So I know there's some confusion on this, and, and frankly, I'm a little bit confused too. Um, some of you had mentioned in that video that, that, that McFarlane had done uh, an announcement video or live stream where he talked about it, and I have not yet watched that, so I don't know exactly what was said, but some of you indicated that 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 Todd was going to be uh, the, the Spawn, comic book based Spawn figure that is going to be a tribute that uh, to the original Spawn uh, Series 1 figures. Uh, packaging is going to be very similar, a uh, style and everything like that. So that's definitely 100%. Where the confusion is, is how much articulation the figure is going to have. So uh, some of you, I guess, indicated that in that uh, live stream that Todd had mentioned that it was going to have about the same articulation as the original figures. And I talked to Todd uh, personally on Saturday. I talked to Todd, you know, the McFarlane Toys people. And that's not really the impression that they gave me. Now, Todd did mention that it might not have as much articulation as, say, the Mortal Kombat 11 figure. Um, but he definitely didn't give me the impression that it was going to be minimal articulation either. So, and and then when I was talking to just the McFarland Toys people about it, they definitely indicated that it was going to have good articulation on it. So, again, I, I don't know what exactly we're going to end up seeing final product. My personal opinion, if they do this, if they're going to take it to Kickstarter, they should definitely give it a lot of articulation on par with the Mortal Kombat 11 figure. I think that's going to... Uh, make the figure much more attractive. I'm not saying that there, you know, there are people who maybe aren't that big a deal, you know, articulation's not that big a deal, and Spawn has a lot of, you know, fans out there. So I'm not saying that if they did a minimal articulated figure, the, the, that there aren't fans who wouldn't respond. But I do think overall they would get a better response if they give the figure a good amount of articulation. Definitely the cape is going to be articulated, like I talked about, where it's going to have the hinges and stuff. But, but um, as for the actual figure itself, definitely the one that they had on display at Toy Fair was an early prototype. So there should definitely be more articulation than what you see in, in uh, the images of that figure that were taken at Toy Fair. But, but exactly how many points of articulation, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what they actually, you know, the final product that they come up with when they officially go live with the Kickstarter. Okay, and then um, for a company I didn't get a chance to talk to uh, about yesterday, Storm Collectibles. So I want to go over briefly what they had. And so uh, they had some new DC figures. They had a new Batman figure. They had the Superman figure. These are all from the Injustice video game. That's what their license entails for DC. So uh, Superman we'd seen before, but they did have a new Batman figure. Of course, you know, Superman, Batman, those would be the first two heroes that we get in the line. So uh, Batman is definitely coming. And then Ares was another villain, a uh, larger size villain. They like to, seem to like to do the larger villains. We've gotten Darkseid, Lobo, things like that. I guess Lobo maybe is kind of a hero too. I don't know. But, um, but, but Ares is another one that they uh, showed off for the first time here at Toy Fair. Looked really good. And then for Mortal Kombat, they're doing a, they had a variant of Raiden with the red outfit on. And then one that they had teased previously on social media and such was the Mataro uh, character. So uh, that one they had an unpainted prototype for, for the Mortal Kombat. Uh, definitely looking good, uh, large size figure and everything. Uh, probably maybe one of the biggest Mortal Kombat figures they've done to date. So um, can't wait to see a final version of that one. And then a couple other licenses that they had on hand that we hadn't seen before. They had teased uh, earlier in the week. I talked about these. Uh, the one from the Samurai Showdown, they had that figure on hand. And then they also had the Axel Stone character from the Streets of Rage video game. They did actually have that figure on hand as well. So we got looks at those. 
So that's pretty much it for new stuff that they had at Storm Collectibles. A lot of you have been asking about Diamond Select toys. And so Diamond, uh, you know, the reason why you hadn't, as of yesterday, early yesterday, you hadn't heard much about Diamond Select toys is because they don't start taking uh, press meetings and stuff until uh, Sunday. So uh, that's why. But yesterday, uh, you know, we, we, we got to see what Diamond had. Unfortunately, they did not have any Marvel Select figures on hand. Now, they are still doing Marvel Select. The Taskmaster figure from uh, the Black Widow movie is still coming, but they did not have a finalized version to share. And uh, some indications that they might be doing another Hulk figure. Uh, that's something that uh, we might be seeing from the Marvel Select line and, and maybe a couple others. But, but uh, nothing new to show or officially announce at, at, at this weekend's event. The big reveal that they had was that they are doing Lord of the Rings seven inch scale figures. So uh, they did have those on hand. They've right now got at least three uh, series planned out and they're doing a, a build a figure type deal where if you get all the figures in the three series, you will be able to complete a, a Sauron figure, uh, the main bad guy from the Lord of the Rings. So uh, those look pretty good. They are seven inch scale, um, not six inch like the old Toy Biz figures, but but definitely, you know, if you're Lord of the Ring fans, that's probably something that you're gonna wanna check out. They also had, they're continuing to do uh, those select airbender figures. So they had a second wave of those out on display. And then finally, they had an Iron Giant select figure, a seven inch scale figure for uh, Iron Giant. So um, that one is, you know, a lot of companies seem to be doing uh, uh, that character recently. So uh, Diamond Select Toys is getting in on that. Uh, things like Star Trek, uh, some of you had asked me about like McFarlane and whether they were going to continue Star Trek. Nothing that they're you know talking about for that most part. I don't know if technically they still have the license for Star Trek, but right now it does not seem like they're planning on doing anything for Star Trek. Diamond Select Toys still has the stuff that they've been doing. Uh, supposedly the Enterprise C is still coming, uh, the Reliant, things like that. So, you know, I am still waiting, you know, they showed off the Enterprise C last year and still waiting for it to go uh, be solicited. So hopefully that will come soon. NECA Toys. So I got a chance to sit down with uh, Randy Falk at NECA Toys yesterday. So I talked briefly about NECA in yesterday's video, but I definitely have more details for you to share. So first of all, big news, as I mentioned before, they're doing Back to the Future figures. Uh, they're doing Ultimate Back to the Future figures from the first movie, starting off with Marty. Um, of course, the logical choices there. Figures look great. Uh, definitely you can plan on more figures coming from not just the first movie, but you know, I, the sky's the limit basically. Nothing official that they're announcing, but basically the sky is the limit. So they can do them from all the movies and stuff. So that's cool. And then they're also doing um, animated series Back to the Future, uh, which has never been done before. Now these are more in keeping with like their, if, you've, if you're familiar with their Toonie Terra figures, it's that same style of figure uh, that they're doing with these. They are doing a DeLorean an actual DeLorean from the animated series for that as well, which is cool. And then um, another license, new license that they announced was Jaws. They're going to be doing Jaws figures. And yes, they are going to do the actual shark. Uh, we even talked about, you know, they might do like a bloody variant type deal. You know, we saw Funko do something like that for the, when they did a Jaws figure. So definitely you could probably see something like that, maybe like with a half eaten uh, body in the mouth or something like that. Uh, so, you know, NECA likes their gore. So um, definitely we can probably see some cool things from that. So uh, for you Jaws fans, we're, you know, first ever real action figure uh, assortment is coming with that. The other new license that they announced was uh, Defenders of Earth. I talked about this again briefly yesterday. Uh, you know, this, you know, this line is cool because it features like, you know, not, you know, superheroes beyond DC and, and Marvel. So these are seven inch scale figures, a you know, wide range of, of, of characters, Flash Gordon, a Phantom, things like that. So definitely cool. Also just real quick, Boss Fight Studios for you uh, three and three quarter inch fans, they are also doing uh, figures based on these characters. So, you know, you're going to get uh, two different scales from two different companies if you're a fan of, of, of these classic comic book characters. So that is a cool thing. And then um, other things uh, that we talked about, and I've, I've got a full interview coming uh, with Randy, so I'm not going to go into every single thing that, that NECA showed here today, but um, definitely they had a lot of stuff. I, I give NECA credit because with, a, I mean, for me, from, from just breaking news perspective, 
so most of the stuff that we saw this weekend, we already knew about or we'd already seen. Either it leaked out or, you know, w w images were released early or what have you. So I give NECA credit for actually having some surprises for us. Um, the surprises really weren't weren't in uh, large amounts this year. So uh, definitely uh, hats off to NECA for having some surprises with like Back to the Future and, 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 and such. But um, other news uh, that I wanna focus on with NECA today is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I briefly talked about this. So I have confirmed with Randy that, that uh, the movie figures going forward will now be available at Walmart. They will be Walmart exclusives available both in physical stores and online. They will not be in the normal toy section. They will be over where they sell things like uh, DVDs and in the entertainment property areas. So you don't look for them in the toy aisle, look for them over wherever they sell the electronics and DVDs and stuff similar to Target. So, um, and also the distribution on these is gonna be a little different than Target where it's actually gonna be through Walmart. So like you'll be able to go to the Walmart website and you can like, you know, with a lot of these, you'll be able to put put in your zip code and it'll tell you if the store in the area has it or not. And it should act give you a fairly, I won't say 100%, but should give you a fairly accurate indication of whether your store has gotten the turtles in or not. So hopefully, you know, we'll see a little bit stronger uh, distribution for those uh, going forward. So anything that was previously uh, released at GameStop will continue to be at GameStop, though do expect like the turtles, the turtles themselves will get a release at Walmart for those who missed out on the GameStop ones and such. But but going forward, uh, these will no the movie turtles will no longer be GameStop exclusives. They will be Walmart exclusives. So um, more you know, I think that's a, a good thing overall. Uh, just because I think you know, while Walmart can be frustrating, uh, you know, there are more generally people have more access to Walmart than they do other uh, you know GameStop and stuff. So uh, good thing there. Uh, doing Super Shredder. Toka and Raza were figured new movie figures that they uh, showed off at, at Toy Fair, which looked really cool. Uh, Casey Jones is getting the movie treatment, which I know, and they and Randy assured me that they know Casey Jones is going to be a hot commodity, and that they are going to be shipping out plenty of those figures. So again, hopefully it won't be terribly difficult. Uh, the mask on Casey Jones is not removable. Uh, they were not able to secure the likeness rights to the actual actor. So, but still we're getting a movie Casey Jones, which is cool. Um, so uh, definitely uh, cool stuff on that front. Uh, lots of stuff for the animated series that will continue to be Target Store exclusives. More Rocksteady and Bebop are coming out. So if you still haven't gotten your hands on them like me, you should still get an opportunity both online and at physical stores as well as both as the um, new uh, two pack featuring uh, Krang and Shredder. Those are gonna continue to ship out as well. So um, hopefully, you know, like I said, NECA is aware of, of the frustration that people are having. Some people are having not being able to get the, their hands on these figures. They strongly urge you not to resort to secondary market prices and they are continuing to work to get these out. And Randy made a point in the interview I had with him. It, you know, it used to be that they could only get these out um, at conventions once a year. So definitely we've seen improvement. I know the, again, personally, I know the frustration. I'm still waiting to get my hands on Rocksteady and Bebop. And it's hard for me to get excited for other figures in the line until I can get my hands on those. But, you know, I, I am confident that they are actually working to get those figures out to us. And so let's try and give them some t more time to do that before we, you know, roast them at the stake. Um, and again, I, I've, I've, I've expressed criticisms on it myself in the past. So, you know, I'm putting myself in that same category. And again, also understanding the frustration that we as the collectors do feel when we can't get our hands because the figures are incredible. I mean, you know, NECA's uh, turtle figures, especially those target ones are just, in my opinion, awesome. Um, so, you know, the, the big drawback is just trying to get your hands on them, but, but we'll see that hopefully improve here in the near future. Okay, and then also uh, the Krang um, Deluxe figure with the, the cyborg body that was shown, um, you know, a lot of stuff there. So uh, a lot of stuff for, for you Turtle fans. And then the variant uh, video game line will continue as specialty market, the Turtles in Time, which are primarily just repaints of, of the animated series stuff with the more video game look. But, but that line is going to be continuing as well. 
on the Hasbro front, I'm not going to spend, I, I, I'm probably going to dedicate later in the week where I can uh, sit down and really kind of talk in more detail about the all the Hasbro stuff. Uh, I would say probably the thing that you guys seem most excited about is the X-Men movie figures, uh, both Deadpool and uh, the original X-Men figures. So, you know, it was announced that they're doing two versions of Hugh Jackman, uh, Wolverine slash Logan, one with the coat and one with the wife beater shirt. The wife beater shirt is the Amazon exclusive, which went up for pre-order the other day. And then they're also doing uh, Mystique, which uh, they indicated was from the first movie. So I, I believe that's supposed to be based on the first movie, uh, Mystique, not the later movies with Jennifer Lawrence. They also announced the Professor X and the Magneto two-pack, or not two-pack. Well, yeah, it, it, it is a two-pack, but um, with the, it has the alternate head sculpt, so you can either have it, the younger versions, that's really what the figures are based on with the outfits and everything, but then they also included the older versions, you know, the Patrick Stewart and such that you can put on those bodies. So not 100% accurate to what they look like um, in their older versions, but, but still kind of cool that they included those alternate head sculpts. And then the Deadpool two-packs, uh, the Deadpool or the, yeah, the Deadpool and, and the girl, which I, her name's so freaking long. You know who I'm talking about. The girl that always gives Deadpool a hard time. Um, she and, and Deadpool are getting a two-pack. And then Cable and Domino are getting a two-pack from the second movie. And that is going to be a Walmart exclusive. Uh, you know, they confirm things like the Age of Apocalypse wave, which the Sugar Man build a figure. Uh, a lot of people are excited about that. They're doing uh, Apocalypse himself from Age of Apocalypse as a deluxe figure, so you won't have to buy multiple figures to get that one. Look really good, has the skull in his hand. Um, for the Avengers wave, uh, there should be two Avengers wave. They only confirmed one this weekend, but but there you go. Um, there should be two. But the first one, the build a figure is going to be Abomination from the video game, which looked really good. And then um, all the figures that I've talked about previously were confirmed for that wave. So that was a rumor that turned out to be true. One rumor that I've talked about previously, recently here, which I said I had not really had any confirmation. Still, it, it may still be coming, but they did not confirm it, was the Punisher Warband. They did announce a Punisher on bike, a black bike and Punisher with like the Band-Aid on his nose and stuff, but no word on the Punisher Warband. It still could be coming, but but um, they didn't deny it, but they didn't confirm it either. So we'll have to wait and see if that's something that gets announced later down the road. One thing I want to talk about, oh, and Nimrod, that was probably the one that I thought was coolest. Nimrod, and then they announced a new uh, technology for Marvel Legends where they are doing the figures where you no longer see the pins, you know, the elbows and, and the knees and stuff. It's supposed to make the figures more sturdy. They're testing it out with a uh, select figure, so not every single figure is going to have this. It's called, I guess they're calling it the pinless technology, um, but uh, that's going to be uh, the figures they're doing off the bat with those are Old Man Hawkeye, Old Man Logan from the actual limited series that comes with Baby Hulk. They're doing a first appearance storm, and then they are also doing uh, the other one. Um, now it's slipped my mind. It'll come back to me in a minute, but um, there was another one I'll go into more detail on that, but but in, in a later video. But but those are coming, um, and then they also uh, confirmed the Spider-Man retro figures with the classic animated series card backs. So I, that was a guess on my part, but I was right when I talked about that wave. And they didn't reveal the entire wave, but they did reveal the Peter Parker figure, probably the ones that people were going to want the most. They revealed uh, Peter Parker. He has his nerdy glasses, has an alternate Spider half Peter half Spider-Man head for Spider Sense. And then uh, has his camera. We're getting Gwen Stacy that has an alternate Mary Jane head sculpt, which looked really good. Has her Trapper Keeper binder. And then a new Spider-Man figure. So regular Spider-Man, but a brand new sculpted figure. It's not a reuse of any of the previous Spider-Man figures. Doesn't have the pinless technology, but but it is a new sculpted figure with uh, supposed to be even better articulation than, than the previous uh, Spider-Man figures that they've done. So... Uh, that should be interesting. And then I suspect, you know, I talked about the rumor of the entire wave, you know, with Daredevil, uh, Green Goblin, uh, I believe Mysterio was the other one, um, maybe one other one in there. But um, I talked about, and I'm pretty sure those are all correct, but but again, they've only confirmed the first three in the retro line. Oh, Rogue. Rogue was the other, uh, modern legacy Rogue uh, figure was the other figure that they're doing f uh, that's going to incorporate the new seamless technology. I think they're going to focus on the female figures primarily with these uh, right now. I don't know if, 
you know, I, I have a feeling that might be these, it might be more expensive to do the figures this way. So that's why they're kind of testing it out, rolling it out. Um, so, and again, it's supposed to make the figures more sturdy. The female characters, they have the thinner joints, you know, and tend to have those rubberized type joints where they get kind of flimsy. That's what this is really kind of supposed to offset is, is the knee joints and stuff will be much more sturdy. G.I. Joe, I talked about briefly yesterday. Still no indication of three and three quarter inch from anybody. Jazzwares, Hasbro, whatever. Jazzwares is holding an event tonight, a collector event. So I don't think they're going to talk anything about G.I. Joe, but I guess maybe we'll, we'll have to wait and see, but I really don't. I, don't, I think right now their focus with GI Joe is going to be six inch. And if they are going to do, I'm not saying they're not doing three and three quarter inch, but if they are, they're probably going to wait till a later date to announce any of that stuff. Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters, they showed off their plasma line with the original Ghostbusters, uh, Dana Barrett, Azul, uh, you get the, the dog as the builder figure. Uh, does not look like G.I. Joe is going to have any builder figures for the six inch line. So uh, similar to like Power Rangers that don't have uh, six inch figures. And they only showed, uh, you know, again, I talked about this briefly. They only showed Scarlet, Duke, and and uh, Roadblock. Or yeah, Dar for the regular series, they've only shown uh, Scarlet, Duke, and Roadblock. They showed the HasLab or Hasbro Pulse, I mean. Uh, Snake Eyes, which is up for pre-order, 40 bucks. There should be a regular version that will be released in the first wave, but they've not officially confirmed that. I'm pretty sure the rumors of that you've seen floating around for wave one are true. They kind of let slip when we were talking to them that Destro is going to be coming. So I'm pretty confident that, that those are all coming. I like the figures. Uh, some of you don't like them because they're not 100% accurate to the original outfits. I have absolutely no problem with that. In fact, I like a little bit of modernization. To me, they're enough in keeping with the original outfits that, that I think they're, they're great. Some of you complained about them being a little cartoony. I don't know, but I, I think for the most part, they looked really good. Uh, I had no major complaints from what I saw at Toy Fair. And I'm a huge G.I. Joe fan. I do hope that they do both scales, but... Um, and, you know, having looked at, at the smaller scale figures that Jazzware is doing for like uh, Fortnite, like they've been doing for Fortnite and like they're going to be doing for Halo. I mean, I think Jazzware could do a, a good job. I still say that I find it hard to believe that Hasbro is going to let another company do a mass release line of their flagship brand. But, you know, like I said, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Transformers, you know, uh, I'm not going to focus a lot today. Scorponok was probably the big standout, a few others, RC and such, but stuff that I've previously talked about and that we had seen before. So no real surprises on the Transformer front. In my opinion, they uh, continue to talk about the cartoon. I talked about how it, during the investor meeting, they were going to, they announced that it was June. They didn't reiterate that during the event on Saturday, but on, on Friday, you know, Brian Goldner said that it looked like it was going to debut in June. The new animated series coming to Netflix, which is going to be based on, on um, the current stuff that they've been doing. Power Rangers, they just showed off uh, Wave 5, uh, which had leaked out previously, and so I'm not going to focus much on that, but if you're Power Ranger fans, we've definitely got another wave of that coming. And then, uh, like I said, going back to Ghostbusters, uh, for uh, the real Ghostbusters, they only showed off 5-inch uh, figures with the minimal articulation, more for the kids, do have the classic Kenner card backs and stuff. I suspect as the plasma line continues, they will do uh, real Ghostbuster characters in the 6-inch collector form. So if that's what you're waiting for, I, I wouldn't worry that much. Um, you know, those will come, I have little doubt. Star Wars, Star Wars was probably the most disappointing of, of, of the weekend. Not a whole lot to show for Star Wars, not a lot of new product to reveal. You know, they confirm rumors like the snow speeder. Uh, I was a little off on, I talked about the, the Revan, sorry, I always want to say Raven, but it is Revan, Revan, whatever. The, um, the lightsaber, the FX lightsaber, um, it is coming, but it, it's not, I, I w it was described to me as a two pack where you get two lightsabers with the two colored blades. That's not actually the case. What it is, is you can have the blade either be one or the other color. There's actually going to be a kyber crystal in it that you can take out and, and change the color on it. And uh, so if you actually want two lightsabers, though, you will still have to buy two different, you know, two of the same one 
uh, and then you could have both colors of blades. But but as it is, it's not an actual two pack. So I was a little, I, you know, I was right about the actual lightsaber, but I was a little bit off on on what it actually was. So I just wanted I talked about this earlier in the week, so I, or last week. So I just wanted to clear that up a little bit. But like I said, not a lot, you know, Empire Strikes Back vintage cards, retro cards, things like that. But again, really just didn't have a lot. Um, real quick, going back to Marvel, and uh, you know, I'm sure all of you Marvel Legend fans are already well aware of this, but they did tease for HasLab that they're doing a Sentinel. Okay, so uh, that's it. Uh, again, I will start doing some more in-depth videos and get a few interviews up. I am going to be continuing my interview series, uh, you know, where I started with McFarlane and did Dave Honor and... Uh, um, Jerry Macaluso, uh, where I sit down one-on-one, -on -one, you know, not in a busy convention setting, but just, you know, via a Skype type deal where we're going to sit down and talk. I am going to continue that. Um, I've talked to a few people, uh, some names that you guys have been indicating that you wanted to see me interview. I've talked with a few of those folks and they expressed interest in doing it. So I, I don't have anything specific to announce for my next guest or when I will have my next interview, but I, I just wanted to let you know that that will be continuing. So hopefully you guys will continue to watch those uh, types of videos, even though they do tend to be long and, and such. But as always, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Keep checking out the websites uh, for, for things like uh, images of the Halo stuff that will be coming out soon. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.